Pushrod Fury. Welcome to episode 11 of the series. Today is not a motorcycling today. Today we're going to the seaplane and we're going to go up to Katmai to check out the bears, these large brown Alaskan bears that are so famous on the internet for letting salmon basically jump right into their mouths. So we had to head over, get ourselves uh, some orientation on how to behave on the seaplane and then take the hour and 45 minute flight from Homer over to Katmai. And I was totally shocked with the scenery and the views from the seaplane, the mountains, the water is just absolutely breathtaking. So check it out. It was definitely something I'll never forget. I can't tell you what a relief and what torture it was to land finally on the lake outside of Katmai. I had to pee so badly during this flight, my eyeballs are floating. The pilot actually made an express trip to the shore so he could get off of that plane and use the facilities. Thank God he did. This is the real deal. Brooks Camp in Katmai National Park has a ton of brown bears or grizzly bears and you can leave the catwalks and get down under the trails where the bears actually walk around and you'll see evidence of that later but you have to be trained they offer a bear 101 class where they require this class to teach you what to do if you do encounter a bear the fact that you cannot have any food on you and the food that you did bring has to be in a locker and can only be consumed behind an electric fence. So there's lots of rules that are in place that make total sense.
one rule is you can't wear gear that was used around fish and you can't carry fish with you. So I was a little confused about the rule that allowed fishermen to fish and catch fish and be around bears, as you can see, and these bears got really close to those guys. We've been watching the bears from the south platform and we wanted to go up to the falls platform so we could see if there were any bears there trying to catch the salmon jumping up the falls. Now, you have to leave the safety of the platform and walk on the trails. And yes, we saw fresh evidence of bear activity. Luckily, we didn't see any bears. I just wasn't in the mood to have to deal with the protocol of managing myself and wild animal of that size uh, on the trail. So I'm really glad we didn't run into one, but we did see Otis up at the falls trying to catch some lunch. I didn't quite realize that these bears would submarine, if you will, to find dead and dying salmon and snag them up and have a quick lunch. I thought they'd be kind of messy with it and have lots of leftovers. This guy didn't leave anything behind. That poor seagull had nothing to eat when the spare was done. He ate every little bit of that salmon. We heard that adult males have to eat over 6,000 pounds of salmon every year. I mean, if they're paying $15 a pound, like grocery store price for this stuff, that'd be $90,000 a year just for their salmon. Luckily, they get it for free. We'd had a long, tiring day, but nothing like the day this mama bear had. These two cubs must have run her through the ringer. She's totally exhausted, looking for a place to take a nap. 
and she passes out completely. These little cubs, so adorable. Ugh, I feel like I could just reach over there and grab them and give them a big old snuggle, but we all know how that would end. Hey, thanks for joining us on our excursion to Katmai and checking out the giant bears here. And uh, hey, if you like what you saw, like, subscribe, share with your friends, and we'll see you in the next episode.